Hey beauties, welcome back. So guys, today's video is going to be a hair and makeup tutorial. Basically, I'm going to be glamming up. And I'm going to be doing my makeup in a different way, like um, something different from how or some way or somehow different from how I used to do or I would say my routine, you understand? So that's basically it. And it's going to be just few steps that will be different, all right? So yeah, now this is me just applying my hair on and this hair is by Estrange Hair, all right? So I did a review of this hair some time ago. Like, if you want to see the full review, you can go check it out on my, of course, my YouTube channel, like, <laughs> on my page. So yeah, that's basically it. See, the thing is, when I apply a, a wig with my hair on without braids, it makes my head look so big. That was the situation with this week too. <laughs> you know, when I did this, um, when I filmed this video. But I just have to overlook it and try to pull it off, alright? So I've just gone to lay down the baby hair on the front part of it just to make it look nice. And I've secured it down. So now I'm moving over to the makeup part, alright? So I'm going to use this cream as my moisturizer, like my skin moisturizer. This skin, um cream works so well like it's really really moisturizing then to prime i'm using the la girl primer and yeah so now i'm going to add the f um, jelly highlighter like this highlighter is good when you apply it creamy like when you apply it directly to your skin but it's terrible like it's horrible when you apply it on top of powder i'm telling you guys because i've tried it so this is the first thing that is different if you notice like if, if you've been an od you on you will know that i usually do my eyebrows and my eyes before i do my foundation but in today's video i skip those part first because i'm trying to you know do my makeup differently right so now i have uh, applied my foundation of course it's by nyx and my concealer for highlighting is by elf cosmetics and i'm blending it with this um beauty sponge by in stylish all right this beauty sponge is really 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 soft and it blends your makeup flawlessly like i have a 10 percent discount code for you just in case you want to get it i will leave it in the uh, description bar all right so i've gone ahead to you know set my face with the sasha buttercup setting powder and this brush is by real techniques so basically i'm just setting my face so if you've been following for quite a long time you know that i no longer bake i used to but i no longer do it because it makes my face really really dry mostly under my eyes so if you can tell on my nose i used a um <laughs> a, um like a prescribed not prescribed oh, what's it called <sighs> i used a different brush on my nose just to make it slimmer right and i'm also using that brush to contour the nose and i'll tell you guys that this part of the different way of making doing my makeup is really worth it like will i keep doing this part you know for the nose contour i think yes but when i have the time to because it make it really makes the nose contour pop you can tell you can see the difference right here so all right so as you can tell i already did my contour using my powder like the powder i use as a bronzer i also use it as contour so it works out both so now i'm doing my eyes i'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because i could not do that on camera because it takes forever and this is one part of the doing my makeup differently that i really like my brows i love the way it turns out so uh, it took me a bit of time and it's not also my thing to do my makeup after my face you understand so but it turned out great i like it so i did my eyes and i'm using this or i am still doing my eyes of course i'm using this palette by ph cosmetics um i got it from a giveaway that i entered and it was done by one of my sisters here on youtube she's by the name um simply sophisticated underscore demi all right so i'm just going ahead now to highlight my brow bone and blending it out with the crease color just to make it looks you know uh like for a well transitioned eye look so i set my face of course my makeup with the uh, uh my red and dye setting spray by by um 
Manhattan of course and for my blush I also use the blush on that palette or in the palette the eyeshadow palette all right because it's a combination of eyeshadow and blush together so for my highlights I'm using this highlight highlighting palette by Essence the crystal power like guys this highlighter palette is my go-to highlighter for the moment all right and it works perfectly so I've gone ahead to or oh, I'm still doing it of course <laughs> highlight the areas that I want to highlight and I'm adding a bit of um, brighter shade on my inner tear dot and then I'm, I'm smudging a dark like the shade I used as my trans like the first transition color I'm using that on the bottom of my of course I used it on the bottom of my eyes or my <laughs> I'm laughing so I'm gonna have to do my wing with my usual uh, wing liner and then I'm using these um, what's it called that mascara is by um, simply sophisticated underscore Demi 2 so her website name is called um, dazzling dummy right I think yes so just check it out guys so now I've done my lip lining of course with my um, pencil like Guys, most of the product I use are the products I've been using, okay? So I just don't want to spend money on, on makeup products for, uh, I don't know, for how, as long as I can take it, alright? <laughs> so this is what I came up with, guys. I don't know, I don't know what I was even doing. I was just trying to take you guys along with my voice, okay? So this is the finished result. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, guys, stay beautiful and be blessed. Bye, guys.